Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Golden Plateau Sanctuary. How are you all doing? You all good at class? That's good. Sorry my mic's still broken. I finally have time to make videos and my mic's still broken, but... Nah, uh, what are you gonna do? I need to get one soon. Anyway, today, what we're gonna do is gonna work on a little Madagascan area, so where the lemurs are. We're gonna put, make an enclosure for these big guys. And maybe if we still have some money left over, we'll make one for our cockroaches, so you can see them. Well, there's some over here. Okay, I'm just hiding bushes, but we'll make a small thing for our cockroaches, so that way we can finally have like a proper themed area. Like I know we have the primate section, but then we'll have the proper Madagascan section, which overlaps the primate section because of the lemurs. And, and we've got some new exciting animals. Gorillas! Western lowland gorillas. These are three females. We got an auction. We may have a male coming later on, but for now we have these three females. And we put this whole wooden structure up for them to play on, but we need to get them a proper exhibit in the primate area. Same for you, these gelatas. They also need a proper place. Our penguins have been in here for a while. They also need an exhibit. We have quite a few animals we need to exhibit for, but for today, it's our Madagascar zebu, and maybe our Madagascar is in cockroaches. So we're going to do that, but before we do that, now the use the GPS has been approached by the parents of a small boy who's been diagnosed with an illness that's untreatable, and his last wish was to become a zookeeper. Now, GP the GPS has heard this parents call and decided to make this boy, his name is Jason, make his wish come true. So he for two weeks he's been a junior zookeeper at the Golden Plateau Sanctuary. So we just I'm just gonna show some pictures of his time here, show that we at the Golden Plateau Sanctuary, we're also people. We, we care about people, not just animals. Yeah, I'll show you some pictures of his time here and then we'll get along to building the closure for the zebu. Okay, I'll see you in a bit.
map and we have an exhibit from Madagascar Zebu. Now they seem to like it, it's nice wide open. So they can run around because they do run around, they were running around a lot in the holding pen. And they actually have space to do that. We put a low fence because they won't really break the fence. They, they are domesticated animals after all. They know how to behave with people and such. Hey guys. Yeah, we gave them a little stable here. So, yeah, let me tell you a little, about, yeah, a little bit about these guys. So, Madagascar Zebu. I'm just from Madagascar. I think their ancestors came from India and then they were bred in Madagascar. You see, they have a big hump, a sort of hump on their back. Also, uh, they're bred to deal with extreme heat, so if it gets really hot here, yeah, they should be fine. If not, they can go in the shelter anyway, but heat is no problem for these guys. But, yeah, I think they were bred for milk, meat, and for and for pulling farm equipment, I think plowing and stuff. But yeah, and over here, well, this, it does look out of place for the time, for now. Our Madagascar is in cockroach, so you can see one there, and then the other ones are the probably in the bushes. This does seem out of place, but we are going to expand this Madagascar area out, like maybe both two more exhibits, maybe one or two more. And we'll put like a roof over, and then one looks out of place, but now it does, but trust me, soon will look okay. So yeah, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Cockroaches from Madagascar, are they herbivorous, they eat vegetation, they don't have any wings. Well, they often sold as pets, I'm sure if you go down a pet store, you can find one. Depends where you live. But yeah. They also make some hissing sounds. I don't know. They try they expel air from their body. So it can be used to attract mates as a or as a aggression to other cockroaches. Or if there was a disturbance. But yeah. That's it for today I guess. We got a bit done on the Madagascar section. Maybe we can go see some lemurs. So the lemur section overlaps with the primary section and the Madagascar section. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!